Hey good people, it is Tashire from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about my favorite pre-fall outfits. Now I understand that no one wants to talk about it. We, 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 we're not the Starks. We don't want to talk about how winter is coming. However, if we just rest in reality, at the time of me filming this, it is the end of August. And before we know it, fall will be here. So it's time to start preparing our wardrobes for the transition. Now the great part about pre-fall is that we don't have to go full coat, hat, glove, scarf, and the whole nine. For me, it's just about adding certain pieces, certain elements that are gonna keep you warm, keep you covered, and also just look very stylish during this season. And so I have several outfit formulas that I wanna share with you that anyone can try, pieces that you likely already have in your wardrobe. And if you don't, today's video is in partnership with my friends over at Lily Silk. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you are following me over on social media, Instagram and TikTok for daily style and self-care inspiration. And let's get started. This is my second time partnering with Lily Silk, and if you all are not familiar, they are a great brand that does 100% silk pieces from Mulberry Silk. And that makes a difference because Mulberry Silk, the trees use less water, it's better for the environment, but also I love the fact that their pieces are machine washable. And I'm gonna give you an example of that in today's pre-fall lookbook. Lily Silk has everything from great button downs to halter tops to dresses to sheets pillowcases, it really runs the gamut. And I, as I have shared with you all before, I am a fabric snob, okay? Just, it, it is, it's me, she, me, her. Because I 100% believe in the sustainability of great fabric and silk for me is at the top of the list. It is great to sleep in. It also keeps you warm, it keeps you cool. It is the fabric that just keeps on giving y'all. And Lily Silk has some great affordable pieces. It's silk that does not break the bank and speaking of not breaking the bank they have also given me a discount code which I will share here and also down in the description box in case you were interested in any of the pieces that I shared today let's get into these outfit formulas for me, pre-fall is all about layering, right? Because the temperature likely gets cooler at night or in the evening as the sun begins to set. But during the day, you wanna be able to take pieces off or to add pieces, depending on your location, the vibe, and what the temperature is outside. And so the first thing that I wanna share with you all today is an outfit formula that I am calling a long sleeve top with something short on the bottom. It can be a pair of shorts or it can be a skirt as I I am wearing. To showcase this outfit formula, I have this cream silk oversized blouse that is buttoned down from Lily Silk. And I just want you, friend, I really want you to get into the sheen of the silk. I mean, it is a very rich, as Nene Leakes would say, okay? And I have here my Dior brooch. I think she's always good for a good time, especially when you're wearing something that's more covered or more conservative and you wanna add a nice pop to it. And so I kept the brooch here. Uh, once again, it is oversized. I got it in a size medium. I am about five foot 10, 10 and a half, very long arms. So keep that in mind if this is something you're interested in, you may need to go down if you don't want it to have this same oversized look. But for this outfit formula, what I wanted to do with it is take it and tie it in a knot. I am wearing wearing a strapless bra underneath, okay? I'm wearing a high-waisted skirt from Anina Bing, and I felt like I needed that little peak of skin since the skirt comes down below my knees. Now for you, you may wanna do this with a pair of shorts, and so you may wanna have the top untucked, which I think is also a great way to like signal a pre-fall look. But again, for me, I wanted to wear a skirt, and it is because of the boots. Do you see these shoes? Do you see them? The thigh high sparkle boots are by Aldo, but I actually found them on the Nordstrom website. And that was after me stalking them over at Steve Madden. The Steve Madden ones were on back order in my size. And I got these from Nordstrom and they came in a matter of days. I have never been happier 
with a dupe in my life. Because why on earth would I spend thousands of dollars for the YSL ones when I can make these just do what they do? Girl, get into them. The way they are made is basically there is a, a PVC or a plastic pump. And then what they've done is they've taken fishnet stockings with these great like bedazzled iridescent studs and they have covered the shoe and it comes all the way up your leg almost like a stocking. I am well aware that the shoe is given a lot. It is given, look, it is doing the most, but that's okay because I think this outfit could be deemed pretty conservative. And so what the shoes are doing is adding an unexpected pop. This is a great date night look. This is a great Trader Joe's look. This is a great Kroger look. This is a great post office look. This is a great uh, parent teacher conference look. I'm wearing these boots everywhere prepare to be sick of me, okay? So that is the first look for pre-fall. It is all about wearing something that is long sleeved up top and something that is shorter on the bottom. And for me, the pop is most definitely the boots. The next outfit formula that I know we all have is to pull out a great blazer, a great blazer. Again, we are focused on layering in pre-fall. This blazer by Lily Silk, I almost didn't get. They had to convince me to get this blazer, y'all, in partnership for this video. And that's because I try really hard, as I've mentioned before, not to have duplicates in my wardrobe, right? Even if I am partnering with a brand and the pieces are gifted to me, I am not one to have things just to have them in my wardrobe. If I know I'm not going to wear them. But I was wrong in the case of this blazer, okay? And it is because of what the gold buttons are doing and also the cut of this blazer. This blazer was a great price. They sent it, me in a si sent it to me in a size 12. And the size 12 is oversized. I probably could have done an eight or a 10 depending on how I wanted it to fit. But I kept it for the purposes of this video to really show to you all what it is doing when we add it to a blazer black camisole and a pair of denim. Now a good cami is also something that I believe in. I am on the camisole ministry girl. I just feel like as a lady you need a cami. You need a cami. And this one is black from Lily Silk. I think the lace detail across the top makes it really feminine. And the way that I layered it here just really does the trick. However, because I am a proponent of taking something that may be more on the elevated or the elegant side and then dressing it down, I am wearing it with a pair of denim. The jeans that you see me wearing it with are from Mango. They are a very relaxed fit. And then I have the holes in the leg. So they're also distressed at the kneecap, which I think is great because who would have thought to put lace with distressing? It all of a sudden makes the outfit more edgy and it gives it a lot more flavor. And speaking of flavor, can we have a little bit of commotion for the shoes? We're only two outfits in. And I don't know if you protected your edges or not, but this is the time to go grab some Miracle Drops and Edge Control. Because what these are about to do, <laughs> it ain't safe. Look at these shoes. They are by Jimmy Choo. I grabbed these for Fashion Week, y'all, because I knew that I wanted a pair of shoes that were going to pop. I may or may not wear them for Fashion Week, but the reality is I did not have the heart to send them back. I didn't have it because I knew, I knowed that at some point, me and these shoes was going to mati dada. We were, we're going to find a way to, to, to really do what needs to be done. And I think this outfit is a great example of that. The shoes. The shoes, the shoes. It would have been easy to do black shoes, a black pump, a black sandal. Why would I do that? When instead, what I could do is a pair of gold shoes with a great dazzle, 
with a great pop. This look alone truly has me excited for fall or excited to go out someplace real fly in the evening, listen to some music, maybe a great hookah lounge, and just allow for people to get into it. Get into the stunt, get into the slate, bless the institution. You see what I'm saying? Between the blazer delicately caped over your shoulders, the camisole, nice and feminine. We got the Valentino belt, the mango jeans. I'm not too serious. All right, I'm not too, I'll still look if you buck. I'm not too serious, but I know style. I know contact, contrast dressing. And most importantly, what I'm going to do is hit you with a good old nasty shoe as I delicately cross my legs down at the hookah bar. This is a look. Yeah, this is, this, we can move on. Now, another outfit formula that I surprised myself with. So I want to see if you all are into it and if you're down for recreating this look. And that is to take your favorite dress and to layer it. And so this dress is from Lily Silk. I mentioned earlier that all of their pieces are machine washable. This dress has been washed. Girl, before I wore it to my cousin's wedding, I ran through a drive through I was, you know, a little peckish. Something dropped on my dress. I don't even know what it was. And I was shook. Remembered, however, that the piece was machine washable. Came home, washed it, hung it to dry. And it dried in a matter of maybe an hour, which blew my mind. And as you can see, the dress still looks brand spanking new. This color, this deep like toffee color does something so amazing on deep melanated skin. I'm not well. I am unwell. But we're talking about pre-fall, right? So catch this tea. Come on now. I told you to prepare to be sick of me. And I want you to see the way that I have taken the Lily Silk blouse. And I already had the blouse, the button down. How I have taken this in the exact same color as the dress and hit you with this monochromatic tease. I want to show a certain level of humility. That's a lie. I actually, I, I don't want to show any humility. But I, I, I think there are people among us, among the tribe, uh, who may, who may, you know, want to see me uh, show a bit more humility. And today I don't have it to give. I'm just going to be honest because everything is coming together so beautifully. It would be a, 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 a denial of my ancestors wildest dreams as Maya Angelou once said if I didn't let you know how this outfit is outfitting girl the dress is long we're showing a bit of that thigh meat once again now I am hippie and curvy on the bottom okay so keep that in mind because it may have hit a little bit longer on me if it was not for the fact that it kind of got caught up in here <laughs> <laughs> right underneath the waist okay but I am wearing a size six which is my true size it does not have any stretch y'all please keep that in mind so I could have gone up to an eight and had it tailored throughout the waist but I think the six is good you know I, I told y'all before it's thigh meat season and so that means that for me the slit is just slightly higher but it works okay I decided to kind of play with those goals Put on a great pair of retro sunnies from Lulu's, grab the Bottega Clutch and also the Jimmy Choo's, and we out the door. We are out the door. A great pre-fall look, principally because of the layering. Another great pre-fall outfit formula is to play with knits. And this can look a bunch of ways. I mean, the dress I have on today is technically a knit and we'll get into that soon, even though it is a halter top. But for this outfit formula, I want you to think about what you can wear that you can layer that is a knit material. And not necessarily a sweater, right? Because I think this time of year, a sweater may look a bit out of place, but a cardigan may not okay and in my case what I want to show you is I think a sweater skirt or a sweater dress would not and so this is a pink skirt it is high-waisted I got it from Farfetch it was on sale but it is by the brand Rotate it has these buttons that are going down the front 
They have the R on the button. I got this in a size 38. It is 100% stretchable and it is so, so, so soft on the skin. One of the reasons why I think this is great as a pre-fall piece also is because of the color. So during fall and winter, I know for me, I tend to go for darker hues. And I think this pop kind of speaks to the time of year that we're in. So it's not so dark that it looks kind of heavy. It still is bringing in like a summer kind of light vibe, right? And so in order to wear this this time of year, or let's say we're going out in the evening when the temperature does drop, I thought a great way to do that would be to pair it with a crop top. So I am wearing my famous Aritzia crop. You all already know about the Aritzia crops, okay? I decided to put my leather Bottega moto across my arms or to cape it. Um, and keep in mind, y'all, that this jacket is long sold out. But one of you over on Instagram did share with me an All Saints version that I'll make sure I link down below y'all because it can be hard to find a moto jacket with gold hardware. I am such a gold lover until for me, I, I, I have to do gold hardware. I literally don't have another choice, okay? And so this piece has been one of my favorite pickups probably in my lifetime. I will certainly have it forever. We are gonna transition that thing on down to my God kids, okay? It is a legacy piece in my wardrobe. And whenever I wanna bring something um, to more of like a street style or an edge to it, I always pull out the Bottega Moto or any kind of moto jacket could give you the same look, okay? So we got the moto jacket, the crop top, the rotate skirt, and then I could do really almost any shoe, honestly, but I decided to go for the YSL mules because I wanted to bring that texture in. We are talking about pre-fall. I finished it off with my Saint Laurent Eastside bag. It is very reminiscent of the Saint Laurent sock du jour bag, whereas it has the top handle and also a crossbody strap. This is my favorite handbag to wear IRL. I don't always pull it out in styling videos and I wanna get better about that because when I tell you I have gotten my cost per wear out of this bag, that is what I mean. It even has this cute little removable pouch in the front. I have seen this bag on resale sites, so if I can find it, I will link it down below. It also has the YSL logo here on the side simple Saint Laurent embossing in the front. But the only reason I'm showing this to you is because I think what it does is kind of bring the outfit down a bit, y'all. Um, you know, I'm walking into a building, just picture it, Sicily, <laughs> 1922. I'm, I'm walking into a building and I have on a pink sweater skirt and a pair of fur mules, okay? That says a lot. And whereas I am one to do the most, I recognize that when you were doing so much, you don't have to do a lot everywhere else, okay? So we're gonna pare it down with the jacket, with the crop, and with the bag. And for my last outfit formula, I wanted to bring in an outerwear piece that once again, I know we all have, and I think can really go a long way when you are in a more casual mood. And that is the good old denim jacket. Bring it out. And as a matter of fact, denim on denim right now, eat. I'm having a denim moment. I'm loving denim. Give me denim all the things. I want the denim shoes. I want a denim hat. I want a denim bag. I want a denim everything. But what I did for this last outfit was pull out my denim jacket that is kind of like distressed around the sleeves and also on the very bottom. I got this from a great boutique. I think they still have an online presence, but they have since closed in Richmond, called Need Supply. It was a phenomenal place, Narnia, okay? All of the great contemporary brands, they had Stodd, they had Ganny, they had Rotate, they had so many great pieces there. The pieces always pieced, okay? So many great pieces there, and when I walked in and I saw this denim jacket, I knew I would have it forever. Um, it is such a great piece to bring something special to an outfit. Once again, a denim jacket you can never go wrong with. But when you find a denim jacket, and I will look for some that are similar and I'll link them down below. When you find a denim jacket that has a certain unique element to it, it just all of a sudden takes things up a notch. I should say this brand is called Faro. So if you do ever find it, I have it in a size medium. And I am just throwing it on top 
of this halter dress from Ganny. I got this dress in a partnership with Farfetch. So those of you who are who are subscribed to the channel, I don't know why you would not be. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel and you've already seen that video, you already know about this low back dress. Now, the back is getting sexy in a real and amazing way. But again, we're talking about pre-fall here. And so whereas I would love to wear this dress with a great black heel, a cute little micro bag, and I've definitely done that before, another good way to wear it is to layer it. And I think a denim jacket all of a sudden brings it down a notch and makes it a lot more approachable. It's easy to wear. It's more casual. Because again, my goal here was to make the dress casual and denim to give it a pre fall flare. This would actually be a great travel outfit and so with that in mind I pulled out my H&M chunky slides. I showed these to you all in a previous video about um, my summer shoes that I was wearing. These shoes are so so comfortable. They are not real leather and whatever sorcery H&M did to create these shoes they did the daggone thing. In fact H&M has some great affordable shoes right now that are kind of in that Scandi style that kind of chunky shoe style a bit man repelling but I don't want one of them anyway so I'm fine with it okay fine with it so uh the shoes I think also help to like give it a stylish but casual look and because I had the airport in mind I also grabbed my cousin's Dior book tote the solid black leather pairs nicely with the black shoes the black dress and then we got the oversized denim jacket up top and let's say you were wearing something like this traveling you could always get to your destination take the denim jacket off or cape it. I find caping things over your shoulders make it look more sophisticated when it comes down to a blazer, a jacket, a coat, etc. Throw on a black heel, a nice little clutch, a pouch, whatever that you pull out of your tote and you are literally ready to go. When it's time to get flued out, this is the kind of look you want to have on because it so easily transitions from day to night. And that is the denim jacket outfit formula. And that is it for today's video, good people. I am so grateful for you watching. If you made it this far, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that you are also following me on social media. As I mentioned, it's a great place to see how I put these pieces into work in real life. Many thanks to Lily Silk for sponsoring a portion of this video. I will have my discount code linked down below and also every single thing that I am wearing, whether or not I actually like made it a point to talk about the piece, don't worry. I got you okay the sunnies the accessories everything will for sure be linked for each and every outfit in the meantime I will see you good people cross the internet